Remember all those roadmaps and research you gathered since the last video? Well, those were all types of user research. We're going to convert those findings now into an inventory of problems to solve. The key to this process is to focus on three simple things. Who, what, and why. First, who. Who is the user? Think of the user as the beneficiary of your team's work, the person that will most directly benefit once the problem is solved. This could be the end user, a customer, internal team or staff, or even the business owner or stakeholder. Now, number two, what? What problem needs to be solved? What does the user want, need, or expect? A common phrasing may be, I want to be able to do X. Finally, why? Why do they want this solved? This is the key to understanding why this problem needs to be solved. Why does this matter to the user? A common phrasing may be, so that I can quickly and easily go about my day, or so that I can pay my bill without frustration. You can capture or inventory this however you prefer, but I recommend starting with the number cruncher's favorite invention, a spreadsheet. Let's map the who, what, and why to the following format. As an X, I want to Y so that I can Z. What I want you to notice about this format is that we are spending no time on the solution, or the how. This is critical to understand. A UX roadmap is not a list of tasks or a project plan. It is a strategic, vision-oriented document. The how is for your tactical team to worry about another day. For now, we are focused on what we are solving, for whom, and why. Next, let's add a column called outcome. Think of these as success metrics for the work once completed. These are, in short, the desired outcomes that will drive your business growth. Once your team solves the problem, you can expect this impact on your business. For example, new market or user insight, user growth, increased engagement, ease of discovery, increased revenue, reduced expenses. Finally, let's add a column and label it owner. This will be the person or team that will begin the work of solving the problem card. Once you and your team feel you have exhausted all the problems to solve, add a final column. Label it theme. Consider all your problem cards you've generated. Now, start looking for commonalities amongst them, such as customer service, portal, or onboarding. This is a helpful way to group and relate the problems into areas of focus and potential initiatives. In the next video, We'll begin the process of prioritization so that we can align your team and your stakeholders.